Thank you. The race for Kansas governor is officially on and now calls for unity from the Republican Party as Chris Kobach becomes the official Republican nominee. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dow talked one on one with Kobach today about several issues. What we saw was a really close race, and so people were looking at the election with a lot of scrutiny. The Kansas primary election results were unclear until six days later. Secretary of State Chris Kobach says the Johnson County problems were mechanical, not procedural. Uh, but whenever you roll out a new fleet of machines, there will inevitably be some delay as you're trying to upload something or, you know, just like you get a new computer, you have some delays because you haven't done this particular thing before. Since there were concerns following the primary, we wanted to know if Kobach would step aside during the general. Will you recuse yourself from the November election? If uh, it were super close again in the general and one of my uh, opponents wanted me to recuse myself, I'd be happy to do it. We also talked about the issues. The Supreme Court says the the funding for education is not sufficient. How do you change that uh, under a Kobach governorship? I think we should spend 75 cents of every dollar in the classroom on teacher salaries, on classroom equipment, on computers, etc. And they're spending the money on huge administrative buildings that do nothing to improve the kids' education. Do you want to bring back the Brownback era tax cuts? What uh, the Brownback administration did wrong is they had significant tax cuts, but spending was going up, setting new records the next fiscal year and another record two years later. You can't do it that way. You, if you're going to cut taxes, which I will do as governor, you've got to cut spending. Do you think your friendship with the president will affect you in November as you try to appeal to all Kansans, not just Republicans in Kansas? Kansans know that they would have a governor who has the president's ear, who speaks regularly with the president by phone and in person, and that makes a difference. Wow, that was Stephen Dow reporting. Great interview there, Stephen. You can see more of that interview with uh, Chris Kobach on our website. Kobach will face two other challengers in the race this November. That includes Democratic nominee Senator Laura Kelly and independent candidate Greg Gorman.